it Sunday and uh, we're looking at these things here I've kind of determined that's a weed yep of some sort but I'll just let it grow since nothing else did in these blocks we'll just take a little glance at these things so I just have that much water over here and looks like it's going to rain today but if it doesn't rain then we'll have to water the plants all right well one thing I'm going to do we'll look here and see if Marshall's flowers could maybe he planted his seeds too deep or something I don't know here's the one wildflower we're checking this stuff that's growing pretty good from the one that I pulled off from the Roma one in the back and that one's doing pretty good all these remember the rounded ones are not really that it's whatever was in the dirt so they have to have little pointy leaves for the pepper ones the cantaloupe looks like it's ready to be planted but we've got some of these orange ones so I may change my mind orange bell peppers may change my mind about and that's a green one over there saving a few seeds if I find one that's particularly tasty because I might just do that I don't know just gonna toss these around just a tad and let them get good so they're supposed to get to cook see that's still a little bit damp it's not dry see that can you see that wet so it's not completely ready but yeah I better give that a little bit of water right fast get over here just a little bit anyway looks a little bit droopy So something over here. Let's put it in here. All right. Well, let's set up a bat right now because we're not going to do a bunch of water watering. But I want to get me a little bit of dirt here because I'm going to plant these onion pieces, butts, what I call them. I've already pulled off one layer of the outside, leaving the root intact. They're going to go into the back, but we'll get a little dirt here. If I use a spoon or use my hand, I might just use my hand if I can. I don't know. That's a little bit mixed, something else. Okay, we'll just get a little bit of this here. Not really using much. Where'd my bowl go? Oh, yeah, because we're just supposed to lightly cover it, so I just get a little handful or two of this. I'm just going to lay them out there on it. A little dirt on top. On the palette. Just a little bit. Just because. You know, just because it's what I feel like doing. That's all good enough. So I'm not going to use the spoon, I don't guess. So we'll just put it away. Okay, let's take these two things. And go towards the back. Let's take a little peek at these things here. Oh, well, it's got some new growth. See the little red ones? New growth. Those are doing really good. Yeah, it needs some water in there too. I could have put the water in that. Still nothing in any of those. Wildflowers. Still no sign of any sunflowers coming up. Maybe they will eventually. It just takes a while. Oh, I went to put my glasses up. I sure could smell them onions. No, I had made uh, the fried potatoes last night, so I had made something else to go with it, not just fried potatoes. I took and opened up a can of 
pumpkin and some pineapple tidbits. Poured off the pineapple juice. You could use brown sugar or white sugar. This time I used white sugar and some butter. And I stirred those up together and heated it in the microwave. And that was a side. And then I had... What you call it? Uh, the fried taters. And I had a little piece of steak meat in the freezer. And I cooked it with some onions. And at the end of this video, I'll, I'll show that pic of what I used then. But let's look at the tires right fast first. Okay. That's quite possible that might be a pepper from the other things. I'm not getting nothing out of this here. You never know. But I'm assuming to have a carrot, you would have to have a green come up. These do not have any blooms yet. They're getting rather tall, but no blooms. Oh, look. There's some more blooms come on this one, on this can, uh, squash. That one's got some. This one has blooms. Won't be long. There's some good blooms on there. And then, of course, those potatoes are growing quite well. Hopefully, they're growing underneath as well as on top. There's a watermelon, and here's a little bit of the onions growing from the onion bucks I planted in the other ones. Looks like it might be a tiny one coming right in there. I don't know. But, as I was looking yesterday, that one right there looks like a carrot green. And then there's one right there, and one right there. So that might possibly be that. But, let me get around to the side again. Not good at stepping today. Ah, okay. Let's see. Um, let's see. I guess it would depend. I don't see very many over here. So I guess what we're going to do is this. We're just going to lay that, squish it down like this. If a carrot grows around it, fine. I don't know if we have a carrot tasting one. This one's a Vidalia right here. I don't know if that makes any difference to anybody. I'm going to put that there. Let's squish down. Then we're just going to do this. It says lightly covered, so. But we want to make sure that if it does rain, it don't wash it all away. So let's do that. Is there anything else? So we know there's an onion thing there. Okay, so we need more of that dirt. Okay. Seeing this is just a plant update, won't be just guessing much of anything else. Oh, that cucumber right there wants to take off, doesn't it? These are watermelons. See if there's anything going on on this purple pepper here. No, it looks like something in the bottom leaf, but look here, I've got tomatoes trying to come on this. What is this? This is the one that's like that broke off in the front. The uh, Roma one. Let's see if there's any more. Um, let's see. This one doesn't have any. Well, that one's got one coming. Look at there, that one over there. Let's see what that is. That's a... A grape, hybrid grape tomato. If you can see that or not. So that's doing that. This one's fixing to. Can you see that in there where it's fixing to? Down in there? Let's see what that one, that one is. There it is. It's a Cherokee carbon. It's a big to bigger tomato, but it looks like it's one of them fat ones. Fat, flat ones. I just grabbed some different kinds of tomatoes, you know, when I went. Oh, look. Now, this bigger one, this air blooms. Those were watermelons down there. You can see the difference in the leaf. It's getting yellow. It needs some more water. Look, this one's getting some blooms, yeah. If it doesn't rain in a little while, then we'll be doing that. Let's see what else got a tomato stuck on. Let's see here. Oh, little bitty, tweety, tweety, bitty one trying to grow. I wonder if this is a little bush variety or something. You see that little bitty one? 
They're supposed to be little anyway. It's got a little bitty one. These are the yellow, little yellow ones. Let me get my over this way. A little bit more. I'll look at it. See what it says again. Yeah, yellow pear. They're a lot of like cherry tomatoes. Get in there. And that one has two tomatoes on there. What did I say that one was? I thought it just got they said it didn't have anything on it. It's a another Roma grape. Okay. If it's the same one, I might have just doubled. Hmm. But they're growing, which is good. I'm waiting for the potatoes to have flowers on top because then I would definitely know it was doing something. I don't know. But there's not really that much else. I don't guess it's going on. Just a little plant date. If I sit down on the stool, I'll be I'll just keep talking. Well, chicken. Rooster, rather. There he goes. Boop. Hope he don't run to the back and try to pick off blooms. When he might, but he's not the one that Tom usually sees. But I mean, the other one with the dark, but and the dark Nick is the one that usually comes around for things. <sighs> hey. oh. So I guess that's all for this little update because. I don't see anything else that I haven't shown except that you know I was thinking when was they gonna the uh if the seeds were gonna come up at all like I said the little round ones are not the other ones are and that pepper right there in the middle almost looks like the wild thing growing over there in the brick so I guess, so I got my basket ready for the, for the soup potatoes, I was thinking, doing the rest of the stuff. Okay, and, uh, so, I reckon that's all, and I hope everybody's having a good day.